Hi guys, I'm Darren, and this is a flight controller therapy flash tip. So today, flashing the flight controller. Let's go. Hi guys, so this is a quick video. Um, I have a more in-depth video about updating flight controllers, so that'll be worth a watch. But this is ideally going to be a very quick five minute video on how to do stuff. So I'll bring up iNav and the next thing is get this flight controller plugged in. So I don't need to do anything with that. Let's go back to iNav. So we're literally just going to look at flashing the flight controller. So first thing, go into iNav, CLI and type version. That will tell you if this is on beta flight or whatever, straight out the packet, it will tell you the target. What you could also do is on you know, Matek in particular, they're pretty good. They actually have the target on the bottom or somewhere screen printed on the flight controller itself. But their website is actually really good for targets, that sort of thing. But if you don't have that information, you can get the targets from here. We're, we're going to treat this as if it's a new board. Like I said, there's an update video. So let's disconnect. Now what we want to do is go to the firmware flasher. And we're going to go and pick our Matek F405SE, which was what was in the version. Make sure full chip erase is on. And what we're going to do is pick the latest stable release, which today is iNav 2.5.2. Then we go down here, click on load firmware online, which will download the latest version. It will have release notes to so you know what's going on. Like I said, this isn't about updates. This is about first flash. And then all you do is flash firmware. If you can't get in DFU mode, the best thing to do and the easiest thing to do is download the Impulse RC driver fixer, run that with the flight controller connected, and it will then be able to go into DFU mode. All we're doing now is just flashing the firmware after erasing the flight controller. And in a couple of seconds, the job will be done. So there we go, all done. The flight controller is just reconnected. So now if we connect, we have our brand new flight controller. This channel is mainly about airplanes, so we're going to choose airplanes. But if you're building a quad, you click this one. If you're building a rover or a boat, you click this one. If not, if you're building a plane or a wing, you click that one. So that's it, all done. It will save and reboot. And then we'll come back on the next video and carry on the process, starting with calibration. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found the video useful. Don't forget to click that notification bell and you'll get an alert when the next video is ready. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.